Hi, my name is Roger Coles. I'm a Canva creator and social media designer. And today you're going to learn how to create this scrolling carousel effect in Canva. Let's get into it. The first thing that you want to do is have all of the images that you'd like displayed ready to go. Then you'll start a new design in Canva. You can see I already have one ready to go. And the way that I came up with the custom dimensions for this one is I thought that I wanted to have 10 different images displayed and I knew that I wanted them to be about 306 pixels wide. So I just did the math and came up with these dimensions. You can make yours as wide as you'd like, depending on how many images that you'd like displayed. The next thing that you'll do is based on how many images you'd like displayed, you'll go to the elements tab and then scroll down until you see grids and we'll open this up to see all. And you want to find a grid that has the exact same amount of images as you're going to display. So in my case, I know that I want to have 10 different images displayed. So I'm just going to scroll down until I get to 10. So here I've got my grid with 10 different image frames. And I'm going to go to the spacing because I'd like to have about 40 pixels in between each image. So there we go. Next, you'll go to the uploads tab and find the images that you'd like displayed. So here are some designs that I've worked on and I'm just gonna drag each one into these frames. Now in this scrolling carousel, I want them to repeat. So I'm going to have the first five duplicated for the second half of this top row. And then I'm gonna do the same exact process for the second and the third row. So we'll speed that up for you here. Okay, so we've got our top three rows ready to go and now it's time to download them. So we're gonna go to share, download as a PNG. You don't have to have a transparent background. In my case, I would like the ability to change the background once I bring it into our new design. So I'm gonna select transparent background and select these first three pages to download. Now it's time to create a new design and we wanna make sure that this design is an animated social media post so that it gives us the video player at the bottom of the screen. So to do that, you go to File, Create New Design, and choose Animated Social Media. Now it's time to upload our images that we just downloaded. So we're going to grab those from the Downloads folder and bring those in. And in this case, I've already added in some guides because I wanted to make sure that the dimensions were exact. You can eyeball all of this stuff. It doesn't have to be as precise as what you're gonna see here. Just have fun with it, use your creativity, and go nuts. So let's bring in our first image here and we're going to resize that and we'll slide that one to somewhere around there we'll bring in the next one now for the second one it's going to be going the opposite direction as rows one and three so i'm going to actually bring this one all the way over here so we'll do something like this i want it offset to the first and third rows and then we'll bring in the third row. And I want this one lining up with the first row. So you can see that little guide that kind of snaps into place. So it's gonna be somewhere around there. So we've got our first image ready to go and we're going to duplicate this now because we want the exact same images for our next slide. So we've got that duplicated and I'm gonna grab the first row and the third row, hold down shift because we wanna move those together and I want these to scroll left. So I'm gonna move these over by about three images or so. And then I want the middle row going the opposite direction as one and three. So we're gonna move that over to about there. And now that we've got that in place, we'll duplicate our second image so that the third image has the exact same setup. And then we'll keep on moving because remember we want first and third row to be scrolling left. So we'll display the next three images and then we want our middle row scrolling right. So it's gonna go this way. So we'll bring it over like this. So now we have our three different slides displaying all of the different images. Now it's time to add in the transition that's going to allow it to have that carousel effect. Before we do that, we wanna make sure that each page is the same length. So I'm going to select any page here, go up to the top and I want each one to be about one 0.5 seconds long and I'm going to click apply to all pages. Now click on the plus icon in between each slide and go to add a transition. And the transition we're looking for is match and move. This is a new feature that Canva just recently added. It's still in beta but it is amazing and it's what allows us to create this carousel effect. So we're going to select match and move. And you can see it's already doing this really cool effect. And you can determine how long you would like this to be. So some of this takes some playing around with, but I'm gonna go for whatever the longest 
duration possible is. And I'm going to apply that between all pages, this button right down here at the bottom. After you've got your transition in, you may have to play around with the duration again. So here's what we've got. Let's make it big so we can see it in action. Whoop. Hello. Now that is pretty cool. All of that done in Canva, just using the match and move feature that Canva just added. I love it. I love it. Now it's time to download this. So we're going to go to share and download. And you want to make sure that all pages are selected. We want all three pages in this design. And you can download it either as an MP4 or as a GIF or GIF, depending on where you land on this debate. I'm going to download it as a GIF so that I can see what it looks like when it's looping. <whistles> Had to make the tune a little bit different because I don't want to pay royalties. And here's what it looks like as a GIF. You can see it just kind of keeps looping. It's a great way to showcase your designs, products, or images. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more Canva tips coming your way. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.